You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Hi, I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. Welcome to CNA Heroes. Thank you for watching. As CNA week has just wrapped up, I hope every CNA has really felt the love this week. Our society owes every one of you a huge debt of gratitude for what you have endured this past year. We at the National Association of Healthcare Assi Assistants have witnessed your hard work, endless shifts, your grief, and your suffering. We look forward to working with CNAs to create positive change for CNAs and residents working in long-term health care. We are a small but mighty team here at NACA, and we are supported by a fantastic CNA Board of Directors. This week's CNA Heroes for all they do for NACA and CNAs assisted living caregivers, home health aides, and hospice aides. I want to recognize each of them individually. Brandon Philrick, CNA from Michigan, was appointed to the board in 2020. He's been a CNA since 2013, and he brings a great perspective to the team. His energy and passion run full throttle. He's dedicated to making things better for CNAs and residents. Just this week, he met with his U.S. Senator Stabenow's office on behalf of CNAs and NACA to communicate the importance of the CNA role, the challenges, the struggles, and the needs. Brandon is a NACA certified preceptor and last month presented a webinar for CNAs titled Entering Their World working with people with dementia. Geraldine Mackey, CNA from Iowa, was appointed to the board in 2020. She's been a CNA since 2004 and feels she is changing the world of long-term care one resident at a time. Prior to her board appointment, Geraldine was a very active NACA member, winning several national awards, including Outstanding Attitude in 2017, CNA Member of the Year and Essay Winner in 2018, CNA Academic Excellence Award in 2019. Geraldine's enthusiasm for residents and CNAs is unrivaled. Celeste Wooten, CNA from Virginia, works in the hospice arena. She was appointed to the board in 2020 and serves as secretary. She has been a CNA since the year 2000. Celeste is a natural born and an outstanding leader, both within NACA and her professional work role. She's presented on CNA related topics for numerous organizations, including NACA. Always the professional, Celeste has received numer numerous awards for her work and volunteerism, including the NACA Devoted Service Excellence Award, the HCR Manor Care Corporate Champion of Caring Award, and in 2017 and 2020, the Heart of Hospice CNA Award and the Bertha Treese Community Service Award. Corinne Ganschnitz, CNA from Missouri, was appointed to the board in 2016 and serves as treasurer. She's been a CNA since 1985 and has spent a great deal of her career taking care of our nation's veterans needing long-term care. She has been a longtime NACA member, supporter, and CNA advocate. She's always the first to volunteer for assignments. Her awards include the 2010 Quality Caregiver Award and the 2014 NACA Essay Winner. She's been instrumental in many successful NACA conferences and CNA fests. She faithfully makes a six hour round trip to the NACA studios each month to film her everyday CNA segments 
for CNA TV on YouTube. Sheena Bumpus, CNA from Oklahoma, was appointed to the board in 2016 and serves as vice chair. She's been a CNA since 2003. She led her facility's participation in NACA and has been an active and supportive NACA member for years before her board appointment. She too has done a great deal of the work for NACA's annual CNA Fest. Sheena won the Excellence in Leadership Award at the last two NACA Key to Quality Awards banquets. She has presented for numerous organizations, including NACA, and you will find her participating in many of NACA's videos. Sherry Perry, CNA from Tennessee, was appointed to the board in 2015 and serves as the board chair. She's been a CNA since 1987. She has worked at her current facility for over 20 years. Sherry was a very active NACA member early on. At the time of her introduction to NACA, her facility was family owned and operated and they very much supported CNAs and the NACA program. They encouraged her engagement with NACA and her pursuit of leadership roles. Sherry is a NACA certified preceptor and her work and dedication has won numerous awards, including CNA Member of the Year and Facility of the Year. She's a very strong advocate for residents and CNAs. Her leadership to NACA is so greatly appreciated. So this is the NACA Board of Directors, all CNAs. These individuals work so hard on your behalf and on our behalf here at NACA. They keep us grounded and focused. Despite working full-time jobs, and some of them more than one job, and being parents and grandparents, they always make the time for their board meetings, special assignments and projects. From all of us here at the National Association of Healthcare Assistants, thank you, Brandon, Geraldine, Celeste, Corinne, Sheena, and Sherry. We appreciate you, we love you, and I ask everyone to join me in thanking and celebrating the CNAs making up the NACA Board of Directors, our CNA heroes.